Lou Leonard. First delivery to him on the way. Lou nope. Leonard Upside. comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's a one and oh. Hey, we got one out right here. The wind up and the one oh pitch. Ball. And that one stayed too low apparently. One half, nobody on. And here's a slider for a called strike. That was a good 2-0 slider right there. Now you're still sitting 2-1. I continue to look for that fastball, but that was a nice slider right there. Fastball, oh, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's 3-1. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Squared that one up just a little late. Crowd gets up for the three two. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. Now batting. Into the box Edgar now. Edgar Ornelas. And he'll run. go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty. It's strike one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase hey, his 0 out. for 4 ball game right here. Here's a ball swung on and hit high and deep down the left field line. And this will stay fair. Home run. So a solo shot down the line in left. Eighth home run on the season for him as that'll pull him even at four apiece. Boy, when this guy gets in the groove, he can hit him. And when he hits him, he hits him in bunches. Hit a home run in last night's game. And if they continue to pitch him on the outer part of the plate, look out. This guy's going to do some major damage. Right-hander starts to loosen out from the bullpen now. Get ahead. Stay ahead. Number three. Into the box. Harold, Harold Davis. Davis. Yes, he'll take ball a look at inside. ball one. A hit and two tries for him so far. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. And he'll try to pull back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. You got two. Two down. Here's the pitch. Hey. Oh, shaking his head on that knuckle curve. One and two. Two out, nobody on. And he strikes him out on a good pitch. So one run can win it as we head to the bottom of the inning. So not a good turn of events for this home crowd as now their ninth inning lead has evaporated. 9-1-2 and two scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. And we are tied 4-4. Gavin Cicchini is up off the bench to lead it off as the possible winning run here in the bottom of inning number nine. Gavin Cicchini. And they did some damage offensively in this one, enough to get the win, and this man led the charge. He's our top player of the game. Well, when your one hit of the game is a home run, and it ends up being a really critical one, you have to feel pretty good. It wasn't a huge day on the stat sheet, but it led his team to a win, and that's all you can hope for as a player.
This evening's game comes to an end 5-4 the final tally. Daffy Yellow Horse gets the win in relief his second of the year. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Our final line score. First for the victorious Binghamton Rumble Pony. Five runs on nine hits. No errors. They left three men on base. For the curve, four runs on ten hits. Three errors. They left five runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 12 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Ready once player. again, Enrique Palacios. And these Number guys are making five. a little push here. Yeah, you I mean, have to like the effort horse. despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they have still have a significant hill to climb. They, but hey, down they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden this thing feels doable. Hey, we got one out here. Nope, and he lays off there, 1-0. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. Runners are at first and second with one away. Runs oh, outside, so it goes to 2-0 now. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here, so the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. A swing and a ball to left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Valentin hit me, hit me, hit me. third and is digging for the plate. And he they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Well, I love the perseverance. Comes down to late in the game. He ends up getting the base hit to drive in the run. No, he hasn't He hits the whole game. So that was a big at-bat for him to bounce. Ready for another chance, Eli Aparicio. And Dan, what's the plan of attack here for the right guy on the mound? Well, I think Eli they have to go right Aparicio. after him. He's pretty unlikely to take you deep. Ahead but of him, if you right allow here. him to get on base, the chances of him scoring and tying this game become a lot greater. Hey, we got one. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. That's a nice job of getting the head right there. This is a tough situation he's in. He's going to have to use all his pitches to get out of this jam. Now the 0-1. Oh, and that one stayed too low, apparently. Looks at a slider over the outer half for strike two. Oh, 
set to deal on a ball and two strikes. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. He's not going to feel good about that at bat, nor should he. You have to want to swing the bat, but he just stood there and looked at four straight pitches. Hopefully, we'll see him get a little bit more aggressive next time. Now batting. Into the box now, Alton Cruz, as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Two down, runners at first and second. Hey, all right, here we go now. And that's yeah. taken for strike two, as now they're down to their final strike here hey, this afternoon. Now. Has them down to their final strike, here it comes. Oh, that's it. Slider, good two-strike pitch, but it misses one and two. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, it's never easy to win games on the road, so they are very happy with this win. Six to three, the final score today. The Binghamton Rumble Ponies slugged their way to victory with 15 hits. Greg Carpenter wins his third of the season, permitting only two hits in six complete innings. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head on over to theshownation.com. One error. They left eight runners on base. For the Bay Sox, three runs, five hits, no errors. After a brief trial move, this prospect is being returned to his original role. For now, anyway. A coach is sent to offer guidance on training for a specific position.
The show's continuing coverage of Eastern now League Baseball is field. on the air. Please Tonight, the second of four to begin the week between the Binghamton Rumble Ponies and the Flying Squirrels of Richmond. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Jimmy Guzman will be on the bump for game two of the series. What's your take on him, H? Well, Matt, there's a lot of numbers you throw out there for pitchers, but I look at the batting average against, and overall, opponents are hitting under 200 against him this season. That is domination at its best. Look for him to have a good start in this one. Coming to the here plate we go, now, guys. Devin Swan. He'll lead things world. off here in the bottom half of the first. Hey, nobody out now. Devin Swan. Oh, he checked his swing there and pops this one up. I got Anderson it. I go. Onto the grass, one away. With a moment now, let's have a look at the home team starting lineup. HR, what's the key for him here tonight? Well, Matt, they're not going to run. I mean, they don't put a lot of pressure on you trying to steal bases. They'll take the extra base if they need to, but they don't run much. They're a team that sits there. They're going to be a lot base to base, rely a lot on the power. This is a total contrast to what we've been seeing throughout the league the last couple of years. So right. digging in now, Brian Cazada. First chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game last night. That's a Knuckle ball. curve breaks outside for ball one. one. Hey, Jar, you take a look at our visitors as they enter play here this evening. They come off another loss last time out, and in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. Yeah, Matt, it's been a little bit of a struggle. One and three on the road trip. You never want to be in that position. But you try to pick up as many wins as you possibly can. That's why this game today is important. I really like that pitch right there. The batter will tell you everything. You get a late swing right there on a fastball oh, low and away. That means that's a great located pitch. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those Here last go, three fellas, pitches. Let's go. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt. I expect him to mix it up. Most yep. catchers won't call for the same location over and over and over. Oh, wow. That's what they hey, call we got it. One. Jam sandwich. Wow. Not much you can do with that pitch that's in tight. And they're working the outer ball. half here, but that one's wide for ball three. I like that they went away with that pitch right there. They really tried to tie him up on that previous pitch, so he was probably what we call inside conscious. He didn't get a strike there, but I'm guessing he was looking for another ball in. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Swing and a liner. Throw gets him, two down. Digging in, Edgar Lopes. He brings an average in the 260s into Edgar this one. Lopes. Hey, two. Two. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. Tough slider down low for a strike. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Bases are empty here with on, two men out. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. The next 0 2. Waved Dude, out and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. We've played an inning, still nothing, nothing. Stepping up now, Clayton Gonzalez. Man, we got he no brings one here. a rather He's ugly world. 230s batting Second average into plus. this one. Clayton Gonzalez. Plays the first here. Knee high slider that he takes a look at. Now the 0 1. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. 
So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Normally not a good pitching plan to throw the same hitter the same pitch three times in a row. But both of those sliders back to back were so good. I might just go ahead and try to throw another one. Oh and two here it comes. Hit hard up the middle. Oh and he can't pick it up cleanly. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Well, he had two strikes on the hitter. Perfect count to put him away. Tried to elevate the fastball. Just didn't get it up there enough. Now in the box, Leroy has Soria. Right here. A couple of hits for him in four trips Leroy. to the plate last night. Soria. Hey, here we go. No outs now. from the stretch Whoa, and that one down. stayed too low apparently now we'll snap one off over no, to the bag saying. and the runner back in standing here comes the 1 0 mine to the right side and that'll get down for a base hey, hit. No runner, eat and it, that eat runner it. will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Back to back hits and now the inning is set up. They're trying to put the first run on the board so you can bunt, move them up. Now you're second and third. You may draw the infield in or if they sit back get the easy ground ball and you pick up the first run of the game. But it's all set up with those back to back singles and now you can do whatever you want to do with the rest of the inning. Inman is the batter now as he looks at a ball of 1 and 0. Oh. Here it comes, 1 and 0. Looking at a tough pitch called a strike. Hey, we got no one. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. I got 2 1. No to offer on that one. Two hey, balls ball and a right strike. Now, huh? Two balls and a strike. Here it is. And it misses. 3 and 1 now. 3 and 1 here. You have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. You're set. Here's the 3 1. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. When you get yourself to a 3 1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. None out, runners at first and second. Now this is on the ground. Two, three, two, we'll see if they can get two. To second for one. Oh. On to first, the double play. Well, there's the pitcher's best friend right there. The inning was off to a rough start, right? But nothing changes that like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now. Into the box, William. So, hey, he's got a hold right here. Here we go. The last week or so, definitely William. one player so. to keep your eye on right now. Two down now. Hey. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. I'm set with the 0 and 1. This is flared out towards second. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. Well, Matt, two things for me come out of that base hit right there. One, he gets the two-out RBI, drives in the run, and it gives him a lead early. And anytime you get that lead early, it just relaxes the pitcher and allows your guy to pitch his game a little bit better. Batting eight. Hey, two Batting outs here, strike. two outs. Rafael Ramirez. Standing in now, Rafael hey. Ramirez, as he'll take strike one on the inside corner. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Plays it one now, easy out. Here comes the 0-1. Oh. And that misses one and one. Oh, he missed that pitch. I'll tell you what, as the pitcher, he's got to gain his composure. You can see guys fall apart after you see a ball in the zone that long, get called a ball on it. Now 
now will step off and fire to the bag. Runner back standing. A runner on first with two away. And a knuckle curve missed that time, two and one. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. Set to deal on 2-2. Two and two. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. So it's one run on three hits, no errors, and one man left on base. We've played two full. The Squirrels lead it one to nothing. So coming hey, to the go, plate, Daffy, Yellow Daffy Yellow Horse. Daffy Yellow Horse. Hey, get your pitch. Drive it right there. Zero. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Hey, come on, big dog. He'll step out and ask for time. Maybe trying to get this pitcher out of the rhythm he's in right now. Hey, you got it. No one better. Let's go. The wind-up and the 0-1. Oof, and it's safe oh, to two. say he doesn't yeah. look all that comfortable up there. 0-2 oh, now. After that swing, you just got to reset yourself. You still have a strike to work with, and you, you can't be thinking about how silly you just looked on that last pitch. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Make it nine straight here to start the ball game. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. Richmond leads this one, one to nothing. Stepping up to the plate, Jimmy Guzman. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. Jimmy Guzman. Here it comes. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Hey, all right. Here we go, Narrow. A big pass at a slider that gets past him. Two strikes. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Swing and a foul tip, but that's held onto behind the plate. It's a strikeout for route number one. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Now batting. Center Into the fielder. box now. Devin, Devin. Swan. Swan. As the first pitch one misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now here's the pitch. Ball. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. That's a good approach when you're facing a young arm you might not be too familiar hey, with. here we go Take now. Take a look at a few and see what he's got. Now he's got himself ahead in the count. And this is pulled hard but foul. Hope they brought their gloves for that one out there. Well, he's out in front of that breaking ball one right down, there. I'm not surprised. Down. I was after that fastball. Nice job of pitching. Kind of keeping him off balance. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Two down, two down. Right fielder number 20, Brian Into the box, Kezada. Brian Cazada. As the first pitch oh, to him right is there. off the plate for a ball, 1-0. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Zero. 
Rock. swung on and missed. One and one. Hey, let's go right here. From the windup, the one-one pitch. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. Ball two. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to two and two now. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. His timing looks good right there, Matt. That's falling up after a fastball. He still was able to get a piece of that breaking ball. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. Enright goes to get it, oh. and the throw to first ends the inning. Nothing across here this half. Three innings complete. The flying squirrels are on top, one to nothing. Ready for another chance. Going out now, Edgar going out. Lopes comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the Third ball game. Baseman, Edgar Lopes. First pitch coming, here it is. Yeah. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Matt, I don't know if you know this, but less than 60% of his first pitches have been for a strike. And he's still having a good game. I, I don't know what he's doing. They just haven't been able to figure him out. Plays it first now. The wind-up and the 0-1. And a hey. half swing here, but this is in there for a called strike two. Tell you what, I'm already taking inventory in the fourth inning here, Matt. His secondary pitch has really been effective. He's used it well. He's getting a lot of good results from it. I just wonder if they're going to make an adjustment as the game continues. Sliced hard down the left field line. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. He'll get it into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Yeah, he's going to have to start making some good pitches to get out of this thing. Job number one is to get the next guy, and ideally, you keep him from advancing the runner to third with less than two outs. The batter, second baseman. In now, Clayton Gonzalez as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Matt, I thought they were working around him right here, and he went out and swung at a ball that wasn't hey, even in the away. zone. So now he's letting his pride get in the way. If they're going to walk you, let them walk you. Sinking line drive out to right center. That's in there. Base hit. Lopes. Rounds eat the it, corner and it. is headed home. And the run will score from second to make this a 2 nothing ball game. Well, that little soft runner did a nice job of staying with it, and the runner scoring from second base on that play. That's a nice, aggressive run. The batter, the shortstop. Standing in now, Leroy Soria, as he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. One for one after a single his first time up. And he'll snap one over to Save first. Pieces. Don't want to forget about him. And no one down here. Ready with the 0-1. Squared that one up just a little late. Working for the punch out and the offering. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. Well, giving up hits is one thing, but judging by that last pitch, he doesn't have any consistency with his release point right now. He doesn't know where it's going, hey, and he knows you it. and him. Get him yourself. That's Ball a blow. two. I got to count. Two and two. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he's set down for the first out. For me, check swings are right there next to bang-bang plays at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Stepping in now. Frank in the room as he will swing and miss on a fastball on the outer half. It's strike one. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Hey, let's roll two. Plays it two. 
And we got one out here. Now a snap move over the no, first. Throw in the dirt to first, and he can't come up with it cleanly. The 0-1 on its way. Aye. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Runner at first here, one man out. Got him. Riding in once again, William So. Left fielder, William Hey, first so. pitch strikes right here. Get ahead right now. First pitch of the at-bat. This is hit high in the air out toward left you go, center. You go. Giving chase is Nimmo. Me, me, he me, me, me. it down, and that will end the inning. It's a run on two hits, one left. We played four full. The Squirrels lead it two to nothing. Your Jacob Perky will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number four, Jacob Perky. Well, it's getting more and more common in baseball now these days to use a ton of pitchers to get through a game. And it took six here to get the job done. But, hey, they'll do whatever they can to get a W. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. Jimmy Guzman takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. Daffy Yellowhorse was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Zach Dykes records the save, his second. So that's a wrap here tonight. Harold Reynolds, Dan Fleezak, Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Facebook at MLB The Show. No errors. Left eight men on base. For Binghamton, two runs, ten hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 50 minutes. Thank you for joining. Getting off to a hot start can electrify a clubhouse, engendering a sense of limitless possibilities.